My name is Dr. Courtney Sherman from Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida, and today we're going to discuss hip dysplasia. Hip dysplasia affects one in 1,000 uh, babies when they're born. It's most commonly evaluated and treated in children. However, there are patients that in adulthood have continued symptoms or newly diagnosed with hip dysplasia. Patients typically are younger, less than 40 years old, when they are diagnosed and present to the physician with hip pain or groin pain and an x-ray demonstrates hip dysplasia. At that point, patients should typically be referred to an orthopedic surgeon for further evaluation, especially if they're symptomatic. If they're having symptoms, we typically try to treat them non-operatively with activity modification, uh, medications and injections uh, if possible. However, if they fail non-operative management, there are some surgical procedures in order to realign uh, the hip and make it a more of a normal position. Most commonly in adults, this involves what is termed a pelvic osteotomy, also known as a periacetabular osteotomy. What we do in this procedure is that we realign the pelvis so that it is in better position for the hip joint to have better mechanics and function of the hip joint and make it a more normal hip. The goal of this is to save the patient's hip for as long as possible, hopefully the rest of their life, but at least get them many years with the goal of avoiding a hip replacement as long as possible. Postoperatively, after the procedure, most patients are in the hospital for a few days, are discharged on crutches, um, and usually require crutches for four to six weeks. They do not require a cast, um, and we allow them to get into a pool around a month, get on a bike, uh, and progress, but it really takes about three months to feel like you're over. It's a year for the 100% full recovery. Um, but in general, patients do very well, and studies have shown that we can save their hip for over 20 years in some patient populations and avoid a hip replacement for them. If you are a, a young adult, typically less than 40 years old, and experiencing hip pain or groin pain, uh, we would recommend that you obtain an x-ray to evaluate your hip, and if it demonstrates hip dysplasia, be referred to an orthopedic surgeon. For more information on this or other orthopedic conditions, please visit mayoclinic.org.